Uh, I work for an association, for an NGO called Centro Studi Podresca in Italy that um, trains and develops the research on uh, teaching human abilities, on uh, teaching those, uh, training those potentialities, those skills that makes us better human beings. And I was surprised on how much uh, the world of chess and education is committed to this goal. So we are very much aligned. And uh, with my uh, association in, uh, uh, I don't know if you will be able to see, in May 2018, um, we had the chance to, um, to um, propose to the uh, United Nations an idea of an international day uh, for human abilities. Uh, so to institute, to um, establish a, a day in which uh, attention will be pointed at uh, the, those abilities that makes us better human beings. Uh, esser umani, like the first uh, speaker told. Uh, il, uh, those abilities can be trained in... Uh, uh, the, they're not just part of the character, um, they're not just something we are born with, but uh, as you also with chess uh, do all the, all the time, can be trained and taught in, uh, in schools. Uh, the United Nations, we think also that human abilities are uh, the real mean with which the sustainable development goals that uh, the United States, the United Nations is committed to reach uh, before uh, 2030 uh, are going to be, uh, is the real mean to, to realize the sustainable development goals. Uh, especially quality in education, but also no poverty. Uh, in order to, to reach those goals, uh, we need to mm, be more motivated. For example, one core uh, human abilities is awareness. Awareness is uh, knowing to know, is knowing that part of ourselves that is uh, most human. Uh, is where we can find the value of doing things. Uh, we can train uh, a lot of technical skills. But why do we train them? Why do we do the things we do? And that comes from awareness. Why should we commit on these uh, on this 17 uh, sustainable development goals? Uh, why should we teach uh, kids chess? And why should, they, should kids uh, develop their abilities? And that comes from awareness of who they are. Uh, also, human abilities are personal abilities, like, for example, resilience, um, or the ability to, to make a decision. And uh, or relational abilities, and this uh, we can say that human abilities are human potential that can be trained through a specific knowledge and put into action, producing results that elevate us as human beings and improve the quality of life. So uh, the elevation of the human being is a, a center of this. So, for example, human abilities are ethic by nature. Uh, some examples are, for example, focusing on attention. Attention is a human ability. Uh, so it's how we do things. Uh, cooperation, fair play, uh, I don't know if, okay. the use of will, to follow instruction, to decide, to know ourselves, to know the others, to communicate correctly, appreciate one another, to emerge, to stay in front of people with our qualities, to express enthusiasm, to be generous, to be creative, curious, think outside the box, and many others. Uh, like the uh, one of the Swedish speaker told before, uh, we are in the middle of an ongoing technological revolution and. Um, most of the jobs we are doing will be uh, done by machines and by, by AI. And so we need to rethink the concept of work and education. Uh, what we will do in the future, but, but also why uh, we will do those, those jobs. Uh, what should we focus, um, focus our attention on? And what skills should we train the children and why? And, and put, uh, Giving strength to the human factor is probably one of the most intelligent things to do. So it's both teaching the children not uh, data, but how to learn new things. And this is what uh, human abilities do. 
uh, they give us tools to uh, face, to fit in always new environments, and also uh, to work on their motivation. Uh, so we should teach new generations how to learn and why to learn. Uh, sometimes we find <laughs> situations in which uh, there are very intelligent kids, but intelligence doesn't provide automatically value of doing things. It doesn't provide automatically uh, ethic or uh, the ability to connect, connect to each other. And that's what uh, human abilities do. Uh, we have a shared vision. Uh, we, we already do these things in uh, school in, a, bar, in uh, a lot of different ways. And so uh, the proposal we, we bring today to this conference is to promote uh, the creation, to be partners in this promotion of the creation of the uh, International Day of Human Abilities by the United Nations as a day in which uh, uh, maybe conference, conference, conferences may be held on a local basis a uh, group of experts can meet and talk how can be how disabilities can be trained in uh, in schools and in education and also in other life because of also lifelong learning projects uh, need to train human abilities and um, hopefully it will lead to uh, reforms in the school system uh, to uh, take this part of um, of our of how to become a better human being more in uh, uh, to, to, the, to the center of attention. And so what to do exactly? Uh, so maybe the presentation will, um, will be very short. Uh, there is, uh, you will find in, um, by my colleague Irene, and also we will we'll make, we'll make it available in, uh, um, here in the conference, uh, a document in which we describe uh, this proposal for the creation of an International Day of Human Abilities. And also uh, two lists. Uh, you can become, uh, you can apply to become a partner in uh, the creation of this um, International Day of Human Abilities, or you can be informed of uh, the development of this initiative and be um, and be a supporter of this uh, this initiative. So these are uh, you can look up. At the uh, at what we do and the, and this initiative on the website www.podresca.it and um, also tomorrow I will be talking more about more in depth about um, <coughs> the research that we developed in Italy with a Centro Studi Podresca that is called Sciences of Human Abilities and what we do actually in uh, the educative system in schools and in uh, uh, companies to train these abilities, how it can be done. Uh, chess is one mean, uh, but there, there are also other means. And um, the, the final sentence is that the person's maturity is the key to improve the quality of life and of education. So thank you.